five times a day? Subhanallah. There, I mean, in this part of the world, where I used to, you know, when I used to work in New York City, I would see Muslims praying all over the place. In the middle of Fifth Avenue, on the curb, the guy is making salah because it's time. Or you know, at the, in, the, in, the, in the university, you open the copy machine room in the library and there's like three guys praying right there making salah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Today is just really really hot. I hope your day or night is as, is not as hot as mine because I've moved around multiple times just to be comfortable. But yeah, thank you to everyone that's been subscribing, commenting, interacting with us. You guys are the best and hope you're having a good day, good afternoon, evening, whatever it is, just have a blessed day. Today I'm going to be reacting to Muslims who do not pray must watch. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. The, there are actually two statements which are two different problems in the question. The first problem is, Bismillah The first problem is, I can't pray five times a day. I can't do it. Now, I don't believe you. Whoever said I can't do it, I don't believe you. You know why? Uh, because I believe Allah. And now I didn't say I believe in Allah. I said I believe Allah. There's a difference, right? I believe in Allah means I believe Allah exists. I believe in Him. But when I say I believe Allah, it means I believe what He says. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها Allah does not burden anyone except unless they are able to carry that burden. This is what Allah said. Allah said He does not burden anyone with any responsibility unless they are capable of living up to that burden. This is what He said. You're saying you're not able to live up to a responsibility that Allah gave you. Isn't that true? You're saying, I can't pray five times. It's too much. And Allah is saying, yes, you can. So I have a choice between believing you and believing Allah. And perhaps if you didn't realize this, maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you've convinced yourself because of your laziness, because of your lack of will, that you don't want to pray five times. Maybe you have to, I, I can't judge you. I don't know what the problem is. But the problem, maybe you're ashamed to pray in front of non-Muslims. You know, people can take 15 minute cigarette breaks at work, right? They can, they can take a break and just go hang out, do whatever. You can't pray five times a day. SubhanAllah. There, I mean, in this part of the world, where I used to, you know, when I used to work in New York City, I would see Muslims praying all over the place. In the middle of Fifth Avenue, on the curb, the guy is making salah because it's time. Or you know, at the, in, the, in, the, in the university, you open the copy machine room in the library and there's like three guys praying right there making salah. Muslims will pray. If there's time, we're going to pray. That's it. So that's the first thing. Allah said you can. If, so if Allah gave this burden upon you, and He did in fact, then you can. Convince yourself of that. And, and rely on Allah, He'll make it easy for you. The second question is, does He really care? Does He even care if I pray or not? Now this question is actually more about, does He need my prayer or not? You're forgetting that the prayer isn't for Allah. It's for you. It's not for Allah. If all the people in the world, all they did with their life was pray to Allah, it would not make him any richer. Any, his, it wouldn't add to his kingdom because he already owns all of kingdom. And if...
and this is a good video I feel like everyone can apply to their lives um, I don't understand why people say they don't have time to do something because if you really want something in your life you will put effort to find time for it yes? if you want something you make time for it so when it comes to prayer and you're saying you don't have time to pray but you've got time for a cigarette then there's a problem also i don't know what time you're supposed to pray for muslims but for others that are interested in the religion and want to be practicing this the praying of five times why not make your own timetable where you can dedicate time to pray at your own time the best thing i had i don't know why the 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 sound cut but the best thing i read was it's not for allah it's for us praying is for us so sometimes we find people don't even feel guilty for no longer praying and they're fine it's because they've lost faith but if you keep the faith or read your quran or read your bible whatever the case is you'll be reminded you'll be reminded and your faith may be restored if you do the right things other than that he said if you have time you can pray i don't understand that i don't understand that if you have time you can pray i don't think people should have time it should already be part and parcel of your day you know okay work this time at this time i'm going to take a break for prayer at this time i'm going back to work i'm going to drive out for lunch pray again this this and that at least that's what i think so and all they say prayer 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 plays a big big part in our lives so if you're not praying then what are you doing and other, other things he said was so true how some people want to separate things they want to be religious and on the other side they won't be ethically right they choose which one to they weigh them and choose which one to go with why separate the two i know the two are kind of different but then i think he said there's a verse the verse of goodness if i read right if it combines those two and gives you a hint on how to live life or the way to live life with the two co conjoined then everything should be easy of course nothing in life is easy but then you can try and work out something that best suits you the video was really amazing um let me know what you feel about this reaction and this video don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and i'll see you in my next reaction video and if you want us to react to anything else let us know in the comments down below and we'll do it for you i'm out Thank you.